G'day and welcome to MW Laser. In this video, we're going to have a look at the Trosen controller AWC708S. And we're going to have a look at this controller. This is the one that was installed in the DIY laser that I built for CloudRay Laser. And it's been a very uh, good and reliable controller. But we want to calibrate the X and Y axis so that they give us accurate measurements when cutting and engraving. So in order to calibrate our uh, controller, what we need to do is cut out a square so that it should be 100 by 100 millimeters. So what we'll do is we'll use the software. In this case, I'm using Lightburn software and we'll make this square 100 by 100 millimeters. And uh, we'll set that to cut out of MDF and send that to the controller. So here we have our square that's been sent to the controller. We've got the material underneath the uh, laser and it's all positioned ready to cut. So now we'll cut that out. So this is the piece that we cut out. This is our X axis and this is our Y axis. So these each side should have been 100 millimeters. And uh, we're going to measure these and have a look at what we get. So in this case, we have 88 millimeters on the X axis. And on the Y axis, we have 115. So 88 millimeters and on the Y axis, 115 millimeters. So to calibrate the X and Y axis, we need to get into the configuration menu. And the way you do that is you press stop and press shift. And uh, we can see at the top there, number one, axes, parameters. So if we press enter, we can see the first option there is the x-axis. So press enter. So under the x-axis parameters, we have distance per pulse. And this is the uh, function that we're going to look at. So if we press enter, then we have the expected length. So the expected length was 100. Now using the Z up and Z down buttons, we can change these values. So we change this to 100 millimeters. Now this is the X axis. So our X axis was 88 millimeters when we measured it. So we just change this to zero, go across and change it to 88. And now if we press enter, we can see that it's changed the distance per pulse. Now we press escape and we'll have a look at the y-axis and we do exactly the same thing. So we press enter where it's got distance per pulse and uh, we'll just note that it says 6.52 and if we press enter and our expected length was also 100 millimeters so we use the Z down button to change this to 100 millimeters then use the down arrow to go down to the actual length measured and the actual length that we measured on this one was 115 millimeters. So we'll change this to 115 millimeters by using the down Z up and Z down to change the values and the arrow buttons to move across. So we'll go across and the Z up to 115 and now we press enter. And that will change the calibration 7.058, etc. So now we'll do another test and measure again. We have our new piece that we've cut out. This is after the second calibration and uh, we'll have a look at our X and Y axes. So on the X axis, we have 100 millimeters and on our Y axis, we also have 100 millimeters. So by calibrating, we're able to get the controller to give us the correct measurements on our workpiece. So thanks for visiting MW Laser. The Trosen AWC 708S controller has been really reliable in the machine that I built. It's uh, been faultless. Uh, so just thought I'd do a quick video there on how to calibrate the X and Y axes. If you want to see more videos like these, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and that'll notify you when I release new videos in the future. Uh, I'll also leave a link to this product in the description below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, and until next time, take care. Cheers.